It seems that Lala Anthony has decided to open up publicly um, about her divorce. According to a recent interview with Angie Martinez, Lala says, I've dealt with the emotions behind it. I still have moments, but for the most part, I can talk about it and laugh about it and find the humor in it all. Otherwise, I would be a basket case. Mm -hmm. So ladies, why do you think Lala waited years later to speak about the pain that was caused from her divorce? And also, do you think some wounds are are too deep to discuss. Yes and yes. I think that, I, I don't think that people really understand the intensity and what happens when you go through a divorce. I don't think people understand that. Most people, I'd like to think like normal people don't wake up and just say, I wanna get divorced and somehow the papers are there next weekend. Right. Uh, this is a long drawn out process. It takes time. People go through separations. They go through counseling. They try, they try to figure it out. They try to make it work and then it doesn't and that's what it re resolves in. But I actually really respect her for kind of holding her peace until she was ready. I respect it, one, for her own emotional and her mental well-being. It was in her time when she felt comfortable for yeah. doing that, not when the tabloids and the blogs want to talk about it. You do not indicate when I decide I'm ready to speak Agreed. about something. So I really respect that. And then the other thing is she did it also with her child in mind. Yeah. And I think you have to consider children and their healing process and when are they also comfortable with you talking about this and making this a public thing. So I really respect um, what she did, not only for herself, but for her family and yeah. she was protective of them and I think that's a beautiful thing. Also it's really nice that she was able to create that protective barrier so that she would, didn't feel needed to speak on it yes, every day. You, you know, to speak on everything. When I remember when I was going through my moment we're on a daily talk show yeah. and you guys go through my ebb and flow of emotions and the one thing I learned about divorce is you never know how you wake up feeling that day. Yeah. You know, sometimes yeah. you're really angry, sometimes you're angry at yourself. Then you go through shame, you go through resentment, you go through bitter, you, there, I, I know that I changed in so many ways and that is best reserved for yourself. If you can keep that in a network of close friends and not have yeah. to be in front, as soon as you open it up and air it out, that's when things get worse. That's when because you give other you get people the right to have an opinion too. Well, when they will have an opinion up. whether you give them the right oh, or not. I don't I, know. I, yeah. But I feel with her, I agree with both of you. She was being protective, it was time. But I also feel like sometimes you have to go through it. They say when, you, when something happens drastic, especially a divorce, wait six months before you do something. Mm. Because you might change your mind, you might decide to work it out, maybe for the kids or whatever. So I think this is the time. She's lived a public life. Carmelo doesn't even talk about it. So he's very, you know, see, private as well. And so I, think I think they were really trying time. to work it out too. Yeah. Look, breakups are hard. I'm still trying to get over my high school sweetheart. I Lonnie still do that. Lonnie, stop. William Greer. Uh, who? What was his name? Who? What? who? who? Next topic. <laughs> no. I what? Yo, somebody goo Googs somebody that. Goo somebody Google that. Google that. Somebody Google it. And tag Next us. Topic, Google kid. William Breers <laughs> and tag us. Because, and from the D, probably. So please yeah, tag us, because I want to know. Shout out to also who she chose to talk to, which is the GOAT, Angie Martinez. I know she also chose yes, someone that was a close, close. friend of hers.